Yeah, hello everybody, I'm Matthias for marmoworld.com and in this tutorial I want to show you how to use our tool Orient World together with the camera solver of Mocha version 3. So uh, this is a shot and you can see it has quite some motion blur and that makes it difficult to track with traditional camera solvers. But with uh, the camera solver of Mocha, since it ba it's based on the planar tracking technology of the Mocha product family, um, this is no problem at all. So let me show you how to do this. Uh, we use our tool Mocha Import to quickly get this clip into Mocha. Make sure in the settings of Mocha Import Plus to choose the version of Mocha that supports uh, the, the camera export, the camera solver, so Mocha Pro version 3 or Mocha AE version 3 and click OK. And then you select the cl clip and click on Track in Mocha. Now, since I prepared this tutorial before, uh, it suggests me to open an existing project, but I show you completely from scratch how to do it. So we overwrite this project and create a new one. So now Mocha Pro is started and here we have now our clip. So first we need to define the areas that we want to track. And for the camera solver, it's important as long as you don't uh, uh, track a uh, pen, a camera pen, but a real uh, 3D movement like this one, um, where the camera is actually moving, you need to track different planes in 3D space. Yeah? So let me mark here just some area that covers part of the ground plane. And then let's cover here some part of this front wall. And then another part here of this side wall. Yeah? It's good usually to have uh, three planes to track and they should correspond to different planes or different um, layers, so to speak, in your 3D world. So in other words, if you would track here a part of the ground and here another part of the ground and here another part of the ground, it wouldn't help you at all because these three parts would then be what is mathematically called coplanar. So make sure that you, pla uh, you do something like track part of a ground and then track uh, some part of a wall and then part of another wall that goes in another direction like I did here. Okay, then for all these three layers, I enable to track perspective for this one too and for this one too. And then I click forward, track forwards here to track all these planes simultaneously. Or ah, since we are at the left fr last frame, of course, I don't track forwards, but track backwards. Okay, so now our track is finished and it looks quite good. And now what we are going to do is we uh, go to the camera solve tab and select all the three layers. And because we want to use all of them to solve our camera and here in the camera settings, we go from auto to large parallax change and keep this here with 35 to 70 millimeter. Of course, this depends on your camera and click on solve. It computes a while and now it says solve quality 98%, so a very solid track. And now before we export the tracking data, we must understand what kind of data we get from Mocha. So for each plane that we tracked, we get five null objects, one for the center and one for each of the four corner points. And what the center and these corner points is, you can determine when you click on this blue surface rectangle. Yeah, currently I would get these four corners, which look here quite strange in 3D space. So let's fix this and move them a bit nicer. Uh, this looks better as if the plane would properly uh, be located here in, in 3D space. And you can see it also nicely moves with our track. Yeah, and let me also set these uh, ones here. Or actually, let me say we do it easier because let's say we only want this ground plane because we don't really care about these because we just want to insert some element here into our track. So, and since we only want to have this layer, we just select this one and go to export camera data, which tells Mocha, please create us a camera and 
null object for these four corners plus one null object for the middle of this layer. And what we do with it is we copy it to the clipboard and go to After Effects. And in After Effects, in our composition, make sure you go at the very first frame and say Edit Paste Mocha Camera here in the menu. And now you see you get a camera and you get five null objects. This one here is like the center. And then you have here one, two, three, four, exactly the four corners of the blue surface rectangle that you've set in Mocha. And for our purpose, we don't need all these other nulls. We basically just need this ground plane. So let me delete these other ones to have it a bit more cleaner. And what we want to do is we want to insert something at this position and uh, we want to orient our scene such that this is a proper ground plane and everything is nicely um, located in the composition. And if we currently look at this here from different views, you can see from the top view, this ground plane is way before our center. Yeah, here's our center and here's our ground plane. From the front view, it's almost in the middle, but not exactly. And from the right view, it's far here uh, on, on the left and not in the center. Now, if we select this null and in Orient World, say layer Orient World on this layer and use it as ground plane. If you note what happens with these positions, if we click on apply, you can see now this layer is nicely located exactly in the center of our world. And if we go back to one view, you can still see that here in this view, it still properly moves with the camera and is nicely placed exactly where it was before. Now let's insert some 3D object. For example, let's double click here on the text to insert some text in the middle and just call this one test. And you can see now that this test text is here is the center of our composition, yeah, which I highlight here with this action title, uh, title action safe area. Here's the center and you can see it's right placed on top of the center, which means when I make it 3D, it ends up exactly here at the center of this null, which is the center of our composition or of our 3D world. If we scale it down to say 20%, you can see everything is almost perfect. The only thing that is not perfect is that it's upside down. And this is because the nulls created by the Mocha solver are like upside down compared to the nulls created uh, by the After Effects CS6 camera tracker. So we can easily fix this and we do this by, let me first uh, show here our coordinate system to, to show you the problem. So here you can show and hide the visualization of your coordinate system in Orient World. And let me cut Control X this test. And you can see the Y axis goes here upside down and the Z axis goes in, in to us instead of away from us. Yeah. And we can easily fix this by saying we rotate our coordinate system around the x-axis. So it's like we rotate it around this line here, 180 degrees, which means half a full rotation, which means the green axis will come up. If we apply this, you can see now this one goes up and this here goes to the back. And if we reinsert, edit paste, now our text layer, you can say now it's perfectly uh, oriented in 3D space. And also if we now make it a bit more 3D by uh, adding some bevel and uh, extruding it to some extent, uh, uh, you can see now we have a nicely placed 3D object. Maybe let's add some lights to the composition to see that it's really 3D. New light, okay, yeah. And now you can see you really have a proper 3D object there that is nicely tracked within our scene. Of course, I can turn off our visualization again. So bottom line is, if you work with the Mocha solver, uh, when you export the data, make sure that you select all the layers for which you want to have nulls created. And then in After Effects, choose the solid that should become your ground plane and orient the layer with Orient World as exactly as you do it with a CS6 camera tracker. And only in case your world is swapped upside down. So this means in case the green axis here uh, goes not up, but down, 
rotate your coordinate system accordingly such that the green axis goes upwards before you insert, insert any elements and then everything works exactly as if you had used the CS6 camera tracker. Okay, I hope this clarified all your questions of how to use Orient World with uh, the Mocha camera solver. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Matthias for marmoworld.com and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>